and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the final vlog for the squash that series readathon um this is the home stretch i've given you like little clips in one mile turn right i've given you like little clips of me at work all week which i've been listening to audiobooks i've actually been giving you clips of me like at work all week so i've been listening to audiobooks uh but that's about it uh, but now we just destroyed our whole house to pack to leave to go camping for the weekend so now we're in the car it's done what we forgot we forgot who knows at this point but we're, we're gonna be in the car for a little bit so i'm gonna read the risk i'm trying to get through still and then my audiobook is uh the final gambit so that's what i'm doing in the car and i'll show you our trip bye on the bus go where 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 all through the town It's getting too dark outside, so I came in here and I'm pretending to poop so that I can read one more chapter of this <laughs> and then I'll switch to my ebook. <laughs> Hello, we are home now um, and I'm actually like running around today because we have family photos tonight. So we quick had to like pack up this morning and then drive about two and a half hours home and then I've just been running around trying to get three people presentable for photos uh, but today is the final day of the squash that series readathon I am still today trying to finish the risk um, I have like 130 pages left uh, so this is my main priority for today but I'm also very close to finished with the audiobook of the final gambit so I'm really just still working on what I've been working on all week I am definitely trying to push through and not give up still I have been reading every single day a significant amount uh, I just haven't finished anything so here we are on the final day I'm still having a good time even though my team still is losing we're still we're still on that train but it's okay it is finally time to wrap up this vlog and wrap up the readathon i firstly just want to say that this is probably the most fun i've had in a squash that series round uh this round the readathon just grew so much we had so many new participants and the head-to-head -head competitiveness was so much fun so i'm just really happy in general with how the readathon went but for my personal progress and wrapping up um in this time frame of this third and final vlog i finished um i'm not sure what order i finished these in i finished the hawthorne legacy uh, by jennifer lynn barnes and i gave this one two stars and then i also finished uh the final gambit also by jennifer lynn barnes and i gave that one two stars as well i did enjoy um the third one a little bit more than the second one but i personally don't think it's worth to like drag through that much of a slog for like a little bit of interesting so um if i wasn't reading that for the purpose of getting points for my team for this readathon i probably wouldn't have continued with the final gambit but i wanted some finishing a series you know and it's pretty easy to just listen to an audiobook so i did complete that series um i also did read the vile village by lemony snicket i don't think i mentioned this one at all throughout this vlog but this one was okay i'm not having the greatest time getting through these i do think there's some funny bits in this but overall i think this series is a little bit 
controversial in just the way that it's pretty outdated in some of the language it uses and I believe that I gave this one three stars and then I also read The Risk by L. Kennedy. I gave this one three and a half stars. Um, it's been a while since I read the first book in this series, The Chase, and I did actually start this series having not ever read um, the series that comes before this. What is that called? Mm, it's way more popular than this. Oh, the Off Campus series. So this is technically like a spinoff or sequel series to that but I don't necessarily think these are good but I have a good time so I probably will continue this series they're like hockey romances uh and this one doesn't have my favorite trope ever in it but was overall a good fun spicy time and so finally I do just kind of want to recap overall everything I read throughout the 17 day readathon and so let's do it I read two magic tree house books I read four series of unfortunate events books. I'm not sure where I put the Ursat's Elevator, but I read that one too. <laughs> I read two books in the, I think this is just the Inheritance Games trilogy. It might be called something else, but I read two books in this series. I read a full book and a novella in the Will Trent series by Karen Slaughter. <laughs> Look what I just found. <laughs> I read one book in the Briar U series. I read a book in the Mistborn series. And I read one book in three series to complete three series. So I read As Good as Dead by Holly Jackson, which completes the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I read The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, which completes the Kiss Quotient series. And I read On the Way to the Wedding by Julia Quinn, which completes the Bridgerton series. I probably just moved a little bit because my SD card was full, but again, a super wildly successful uh, round of Squash That series, not only for me, but for the readathon in general. And so thank you so much for spending some time with me and Kayla uh, these last couple weeks, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!